My wife is gathering content. I'm shocked. <laughs> Coming at you, Mike. Here we go. <laughs> Morning, folks. It is Friday, qualifying day here at Wild Horse Pass in Chandler, Arizona. One of the things that, uh, one of my jobs, and it seems to happen pretty much every weekend according to where we're at in the country, I am constantly adding or changing decals according to where we're at and according to where the companies are located that we work with. So I'm the decal boy around here. See these guys are back here getting everything ready. Got a motor sitting there that's ready to go next in line. Got a few hours yet. We'll go out there and uh, get after it for Q1. One of the things we're worried about is getting ourselves into the shootout that is coming up in Gainesville. It's a call out situation. Right now we are in the eighth spot and they only take eight cars. So we got to do what we got to do to it's based on qualifying at Pomona and here, and obviously Pomona, we did not qualify where we wanted to, so we got to go out there and get after it and get ourselves up out of the number eight spot. I got to get some decals on. This weekend, I'm adding garage pipe. It's a compressed air system and Cox reels. Let's get our job done and get ready to go out there and stomp on that loud pedal. Everybody's got these serious looks on their face. Look, everybody. All of them, they got serious looks on their face. Me, I'm just ready to go out there and stomp on the loud pedal. Yes. I don't know what kind of look that is on his face, but. Uh, I'm cold. There's our boy cold. Cold, Phoenix boy cold, and we're in Phoenix. Yeah. Anyway, guys, Q1, we're up here ready to go. Car's looking sharp, looking good. I like it. It is time to see if uh, we got everything lined up and ready to go. Do better than we did round one in Pomona. <laughs> All right, guys. For the last couple of stops. No idea what happened right there. It's more than likely going to be It's probably the slowest I've ever rode down the racetrack here. Got up there and it would not fire. I've got to just believe it's something in the safety system which is required, but it wouldn't start. Uh, tried and tried and tried, not good. Fantastic conditions. This guy's working way too hard to uh, have a car that won't start. Uh, we'll figure it out. See what happens. Still looking, haven't found nothing. The safety system is activated and we do not know why yet. All right guys, we figured it out. We had a battery malfunction which made the safety system go off. Not the safety system's fault. Race cars, they sure are aggravating at times. Cost us a shot of uh, going down the racetrack, getting a little bit of data. And the conditions were awesome tonight. Race cars, frustrating sometimes. It's working. How are you gonna do a TikTok hands with me? A what? He said a what? I we got my earplugs. We were skiing in. behind your back. You got to do a dance with me. I will do whatever you want to do, but I don't know how to dance. You heard it. It's coming. I do not know how to dance. That's okay. If I could just stand there and look cool, I'm in. You do. <laughs>
All right, guys, there you see it. 057 on the tree, 830, 60 foot, 213, three flat, 286, 374, 322. We went from uh, car not starting to currently top half of the field. Got some buddies back here from Cox Reels. First uh, backstage experience for these guys. Was it, it cool or what? Yeah, love it. It's great. So somehow, some way, I forgot to grab the camera before we rolled up, but uneventful morning. Obviously, uh, it's crazy that uh, the car wouldn't start last night, but it's part of it. We figured out that we had a battery problem and we're good to go. We got Big John behind the wheel. <laughs> He's wheeling us back. Of course, Izzy's back there with his hair flowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this stuff is so fun when it goes down the racetrack like that. We'll uh, get her ready. We got another run at 4.30. We'll see you guys in a bit. Down here with my buddy, checking out the little weight. See what's happening. Woo! Wasn't too shabby, bro. You got it on. After the craziness, we'll take it, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Let me guess. 23.55. That's my guess. 60. 2360. Dang it. I ate too much last night. Ron Goble was not unhappy with last night's run. will go into the last qualifying session. Yes. All right, guys, we're down. A guy, Nathan, had to go home, so uh, we're all having to pitch in and do stuff we don't normally do. So I am in here trying to. This place is packed, y'all. How's everybody doing? Everybody good? Everybody having fun? Get a little YouTube action going here. Appreciate everybody coming out. Thank you, guys. I know y'all aren't here to see me. Y'all are waiting on us to make a little racket, which is what we're fixing to do. Thank you guys for coming out. We missed y'all last year. Thank you, guys. Guys are getting it ready for the last qualifier, and I tell you what, I hadn't even talked about it, but we got a little bit of, uh, I don't know, drama or whatever you want to call it going on. But so there is a shootout. I think it pays a hundred grand, maybe. Not sure. Coming up next race in Gainesville, and they take the top eight cars based off of qualifying and some points from last year. So in this run right here, last qualifier, we've got to do better than Sean Langdon. We're currently number eight, and he is number nine. We are in by one point, so right now we gotta go out there and step it up. That Levi didn't even know that. Didn't even we, know. we got, I didn't either. We gotta outrun Langdon this run right here to get in the shootout. So we're gonna try to make sure we do that and go down the racetrack at the same time. can see by that 60 foot there 1.09 <laughs> that is not good John's up there laughing uh, last lap we were 0 0.830 so we literally smoked the tires immediately just lost traction the moment I stomped on the loud pedal uh, we did have it tuned up because we needed to out qualify Sean Langdon going into that round we were in front of him and after that run, we are not. He made a whopper run, best run they've made in a long time, 3.69. So we did not accomplish what we set out to do. It definitely just blew the tires off. But did y'all have fun? 
Oh, oh we fantastic. had a blast. Oh, good. <laughs> fantastic. Good. Fantastic. Good. We're coming back. Good. Yeah. So we've got some NASCAR fans here that good are now yeah. drag racing fans. Yes. Yo, absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. And I love NASCAR. I'm not knocking it, but there's something different about what we do over here, right? Yeah. Racing We're on your team racing. now. It's thank fun. you. Yeah. We've thank gone, you, we've you, gone to the smart side. <laughs> <laughs> This is just great. So uh, we're gonna make an adjustment on smoking the tires. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Tomorrow's what counts. Okay. Tomorrow is elimination. So. Okay. okay. Single elimination too. Oh, All right, guys. I'm out here hanging out with some fans. Tell everybody who you are. My name is Chris Fisher. I'm from Arizona. I'm here to support play today. So tell me why you come over. I love nitro. I love speed and wake up every day wondering about making things faster. And how did you find my YouTube channel? Uh, PFI Speed actually sent me here originally. Uh, I've been watching Top Fuel for a while, but uh, I didn't really know a whole lot about it. First place story, and I just kind of fell in love with it. So well, here we I are. I appreciate it. And I can tell y'all, he has made some comments while we were talking here that there is no doubt you've watched all of them. I'm trying to watch all of them. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Good old PFI Speed. Brent, we love you, buddy. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, right there. Boost Boys 1320 and PFI Speed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I appreciate it.